Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Taurus Weekly Money and Career Reading from June 10th to the 16th, 2024. Taurus, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Taurus Weekly Money and Career, June 10th to the 16th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are all well. Be on the lookout on the hero for the magic word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. All you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name and announce it at the end of the month of June. And yes, I know I am late for the announcement for the month of May, but hopefully I will um, get to it during the live tomorrow, Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. For anyone that's interested, um, you, you will um, be able to ask a question. I lost my trend of thought, sorry. Uh, you can ask a question during the lives, if ever I do some during the week as well, if you become a member. So all you have to do is click the join button next to the Card Binds logo, and that'll take you wherever you wish to go. Um, it supports the channel, and it also gives you access to those tarot questions during the live. Uh, Sunday, sometimes I do lives for members only. Sometimes I do it for everyone, open to all public, uh, but the questions are for members only. So we'd love to have you. Part of the Card Minds energy. It's a beautiful community and uh, hope to see you there. All right, let's get started. I don't know if I, no, I'm not taking this one. All right, let's see what we have so far. Three of Pentacles, Judgment. Okay, there's a ship there making a decision. Um, uh, this is a change of career or change of destiny or now you're working with these people and it's uh, working with this team. Uh, it's clear, okay. It's clear in your mind that you're going to work with this team or you're empowered to work with this team. You work, you know, you're, you're able to express your ideas, express your opinion, um, and there's a shift there. Um, it feels like you're helping others or others are helping you. There's a certain generosity around you to find balance, to find an equal give and take with these people, with this team, with this company, with this project you're building, with whatever it is. It can be a product, it can be a project, can be team building within your business or a company, joining a team within a company, whatever it is. But the judgment here is a big shift. It's a big change in your career, in your job, or even if you're in your life, right? It can be a, a move. Maybe you're moving, maybe you're changing jobs, uh, maybe you're moving locations. Uh, it's shifting your destiny. It's shift, you're rising up to something different, something better, something that makes more sense to you. So yes, you're at a crossroads or you have been at a crossroads and, um, you know, should I, should I not, should I, you know, shift my job, should I change careers, should, he, should I start this new project, can I be part of this team, I want to work with these people, right, whatever it is. And the judgment is really also about you're ready. You're ready to push it forward. And you're ready to make this happen. And not only you're ready to be part of this, to make it happen, to start, build, to whatever it is, you're also ready to let go of that old part of you, that old self, to step into this newer version. Be yeah, it is a big change, but you're, it feels like 
you're empowered, whatever it is, these people or this idea or this team building, it's almost like a building of a team. You know how when um, companies have these uh, how can, uh, how do we, how do you call those? There's power building, building of teams, you know, um, uh, for employees to boost confidence and to boost energy. Uh, this is something that feels like that, but it's you, like you, you, you're a newer version, you're pumped up, you're a newer version of who you are, right? And so this decision, massive decision here to change, whatever it is, um, this is a decision because you have nurtured this intuitively, but also it's your idea, like intellectual and intuitive. It's your idea. You're going to push this. You're going to make it happen. And it's a big choice. It's a significant change in your career, even in your life. So trust that you're aligning, trust that you're on the right path. You're almost there if you're not there yet, right? You've learned, you've learned from past experiences and you also know that you're able to leave that past behind now and much, and, and, and much more refreshed to take on this new. Eight of Swords, not surprised, that's that stuck in the past. Um, and now you have the sun, which is really positive, happiness, aligning with, um, you know, whatever it is that makes sense to you with the judgment. And it is a change of destiny. It's a big, it's a big, uh, big maneuver, to say the least. Um, but good for you because of this Eight of Swords, right? Feeling stuck, going nowhere, not for you, not growing, or just not wanting to deal with those energies anymore. Here comes the sun and looking for your happiness. And look, you're finding that stability as well as you make this decision, big decision, right? The judgment is um, shining again, well, healing as well. And as you heal, you heal those triggers, those past ties, those past emotions, those past dynamics, family dynamics, career dynamics, whatever it is, you're healing and it is that rebirth after the healing, after the understanding. And it's also that you want to be seen, right? It's you want the world to see you for who you are. You want to be celebrated, Taurus. You want people to understand how important you are. That control, I say it all the time. And yes, that 10 of wands, you're at the end of that and you're making this official with the Hierophant. So either there's something officially signed with the Hierophant or there's someone there helping you. There's someone there guiding you, giving you the documents, giving you the go-ahead, giving you the stamp of approval, right? It's, But it's also you understanding now where you stand and how you are going to navigate through this new born, your new born, right? It's that resurrection. But it's also that it's you're, you're waking up. You're waking up and it's almost like a revelation for you, like a ta-da moment where, oh my, it's time. I'm doing this. I'm making this happen. Maybe it's been a long time. Um, and it's for you, it's almost like new exploration. You're pushing the boundaries. You're going to explore something you've never explored before. Um, maybe you're doing a complete new job, different, completely different. Uh, maybe you're adventuring yourself out on a path, career, job, even personal, spiritual path that you've never been on before. You're discovering a vocation. You're discovering your new self. It's a happy surprise. You're inspired. You're inspired to express yourself, to express your ideas, to be known, to be seen. It's a big big decision. It's a change of destiny, but my oh my, do you want the world to see you? It's, it's like, um, but it's not like the world didn't see you before. 
but it's almost like you want the world to see your new self, like I've changed, or I have a brilliant idea, or, you know, I am spiritual, ch spiritually changed by this guide, by this person that has inspired me, or this leader that has inspired me, come along, I'm a different person, and I have a great idea, I'm going to rise up, and you're going to see who I am, wow, it's, it's impressive, um, but I feel like, um, it's impressive, but you're also reconciling with things that are important for you. Like it's important. It's just, it's the right thing to do. You're officializing it. You're, you're pushing forward to that goal, you, to those convictions, your values, your belief system, you're imposing respect. So maybe you're doing, um, it's almost like maybe you're doing uh, going back to school and getting a diploma, like a really hard diploma or something, you know, a hard training or something really, really high up and difficult to do. Uh, people will admire you and people will see how you are really like imposing respect. Wow, that's impressive. I'm going to put these back because I'm a little clumsy here uh, maybe yeah maybe you're taking on like a, it's almost yeah it, it's like maybe you're becoming a complete new you're taking on a diploma or a new career a new job that requires a lot of studying and it's giving you a whole new status power I don't know but it feels like you're getting there you're reaching that high level or that higher level within your career within your life within your job whatever it is or your spiritual or something right with this higher fence and it's really it feels like you're reaching that level with wisdom and experience and yes you might have to work hard or train to get a diploma or to get some sort of certification or something but it's also because of what you've learned and who you have been up to now and what your experience is and so for you it's almost like a natural vocation let me know what this is Taurus yes nine of pentacles Ten of Wands, you're getting out of a cycle, so this is brand new for you. Pushing forward, pushing forward. But here with the Nine of Pentacles, you are, um, you are proud, proud of your choice, proud of this decision, comfortable with who you are, and and it's bringing in abundance. This Nine of Pentacles has come up almost in every single reading. And I've done quite a few. Uh, wow. Yeah, there we go. There's the money coming in and there's that offer. But it's almost like you've studied really hard with this spiritual leader or this spiritual guide or this professor or this entity, this structure, you know, maybe of education or higher up or whatever it is, right? It's going to be different for everyone. Um, and now you have an offer. And I feel like you've worked really, really hard to transcend, to step it up and, and become that level. Wow, it's impressive. And here we have the offer. And here we have this new beginning where it's successful you're planning you're planning to travel you're open to the world you're doing this with a whole new level of outward reach right expanding your knowledge your horizons it's new people new communities new countries new cities whatever it is it's you're opening up to the world and here you have the emperor look at this you have the sun the Empress, the Ace of Pentacles, the big, big change here, making this change of change official. And then you have this offer here. Be, you're very comfortable with this change. 
even if it's really um, a 180, you, you're, you're really comfortable with it. And maybe you've nurtured this or thought about it for a while because you're at the Ten of Wands or you're at the end of that cycle. But you found the right people, you found the right team, or you found the right structure, school, training program, spiritual leader, guidance, whatever it is. Whatever it is, it's going to be different for everyone. And here we have, you're stuck, but now you're open up to happiness, to balance, this positive vibes pushing you forward towards the right people. And it's just making you happy. Really making you happy. You're there for others. You, you have this sense of guidance, empathy, nurturing, creativity. You're open, opening up to a whole new vocation here. The Empress is also understanding and growing into this new thing you're nurturing. Whatever it is. Look at these four cards here on each side. They're very powerful. All right, let's see if we have a couple more cards. Taurus Weekly, Money and Career, June 10th to the 16th, 2024. Eight of Wands, pushing forward. Action forward. Messages. Um, suddenly, this is pushing forward. So maybe suddenly things are happening. You've been preparing. You knew this was coming. Or suddenly you're starting these classes. Or suddenly... It's, you're stepping up your game. It's moving forward fast. It's shifting. It's suddenly shifting forward. Action. I would like to know who this Hierophant is for you. It's going to be different for everyone. Here you are, Taurus. Fixing, making, progressing, growing, creating on a whole new level. Yes. Two of, oh, two. So the lovers, mm, you're healing something as well. Well, the two cards of healing here, right? The judgment, even if it's a big change, you're rising up to your new destiny for sure, but you're also healing past wounds, healing everything that has happened in the past few years that has been so difficult really healing those wounds with this star card and now you're able two times the higher fin so now you're really able to connect it reconcile it's almost like um wow it's almost like you're connecting to a person again or connecting you're being really honest with a person again and there's a certain feeling of union again with a person it can be with an entity it can be with a structure it can be with a company or or with your own ideas and your own emotions here there's a sense of coming together coming together and healing and then making something official because the star card is that hope maybe you're hoping to reconcile with someone maybe you're hoping to come back to something that you've treasured that you've wanted or a per person you wanted to work with or a person that is close to you right with this um with the lover's card it's that opening towards others uh with love but also like associating partnering up with people that make sense to you that you really really sincerely connect with it's very honest the the lovers is all about honesty integrity uh, being clear in your choices but um being above all honest with yourself and once you're honest with yourself with your true feelings with your true gut feeling or or whatever you've resented or whatever has been so difficult in your mind in your heart in your soul the past few years it's almost like you're coming together for this and with the two with this the lovers it's about it's like it's also um so coming together in a union with someone um feeling maybe um how could healing 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 i keep healing healing and believing in healing and believing in coming together and making peace 
and it's it's a good whatever it is it's a good professional choice it's a good um it's a good looking for a word it's a good uh, move it's a good move for your career because you're so clear and honest in your choice in your integrity maybe you haven't been clear up to now maybe it's been a little blurry maybe you haven't been honest with yourself and true to yourself you know to connect with others on certain situations dynamics family dynamics friend dynamics work dynamics whatever right here you're healing that and so the lovers being so honest with yourself that is bringing you back to something it's like this is not you're not going back to something don't get me wrong you're really moving into something new something more nurturing something more understanding but it's also bringing you back to sources bringing you back to nature or bringing you back to what is essential to you right it's the calm after the storm or now you can blossom again you can grow again because you've given a lot you've given a lot and you're all it's like you're hoping for peace and you're hoping for protection and I feel like you're coming to it you're really coming to it and that is sort of protecting you long term and bringing back harmony in your professional life in your personal life and in your creative life and this to these two hierophants I'm sort of really making things official whoever it is in your life or in your job wow these readings are very profound all of them and you can see they're all pretty long compared to the preceding week all right Taurus let's see if there's one last message for the road, a lot of cards. I'm going to take this one and then I'm going to see if there are other ones that pop out. Yes, well, that's a given. All right, let's see if there are a few more that want to come out. And yes, if I have a few cards that come out and I'm not feeling it's those cards or I feel like there's a bunch that come out but there's maybe just one or two that are influenced um that's why I put them back in yes going back to sources building again with your family building again with your kids or or you know really having the nostalgia of the old times reconnecting with the past and we have a queen of wands can be with an Aries Leo Sage bringing back that confidence bringing back that trust within the family wow let me know what this is all about doris uh share your journey share your dynamic uh let me know if you connect uh, i hope you enjoy this reading as much as i did thank you so so much for watching thank you to each and every one for watching this channel for sharing your energies and sharing your journeys thank you taurus from the bottom of my heart, gratitude to each and every one of you. I want to say that the magic word here is trust. Okay. <laughs> trust the change. Okay. Trust the change. Trust the change. Or trust. Trust the change. Okay. If it's trust the change, it's trust the change. Uh, so if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, um, all you have to do is put trust or trust the change down below in the comment section. And don't forget to be subscribed. Thank you again for watching. Have a great week, Taurus. Take care. Bye-bye.